Now we are in my max bounty dashboard, uh, just so you can see my earnings. So yesterday I made 218, so far today I've only made 86. Today has been a really low day, um, but it should go back up. Uh, it happens every once in a while, the ads just aren't doing great one day. Um, it's happened about one other day, and then they did really good the next day. So I'm not too worried, but um, let me go ahead and refresh this so you guys can actually see this is legit. Um, you can see so far this month, it's April 2nd right now. $304 so it's these two combined and then I started I don't know exactly which day I started but you can see in March I made 1526 and I was in the span of six or seven days so over $200 a day my best day I believe was 280 something dollars um, I'm not exactly sure I could go to my reports and check but then I'd have to blur out the offer I'm promoting um, and I don't really feel like doing that so you can just take my word for it you don't have to believe me if you don't want but it is what it is right um, anyways um, I'll refresh it one more time thank you any extra money there um, and so basically how I'm doing this I have a full document that we are gonna go through today um, and just a disclaimer this is not all profit I am actually using paid ads to do this and my profit margins right now is about uh, 50 to 55 percent right so like on this one 218 here I think I made about one hundred and ten dollars or so profit off of this today um, it's about 40 45 percent since it isn't doing as well today my best day when I did like 280 I believe it was around hundred and forty dollars profit um, which I'm pretty happy with right because I can scale these ads and make even more so I'm pretty happy with 50 percent profit margin so yeah so this is a document that we're gonna go through I'm gonna show you step by step exactly what I'm doing and you're gonna leave this video without any questions right you're gonna have exactly what I'm doing I'm not gonna hold anything back I'm not gonna be selling a course on CPA or anything um, just because I don't feel like it um, and so I'm just gonna give it all to you right here so the first thing I'm doing let me unblock this is I'm running sweepstakes offers in a niche that I am familiar with now um, in the future I will probably get into niches I'm not as familiar with like maybe the women's niche like beauty stuff like that but just since this was my first campaign I saw an offer that I I'm familiar with the niche so I kind of knew the targeting um, and stuff like that I could do so uh, I recommend for your first offer you start promoting pick an offer that you are somewhat familiar with that way when you go to target um, you know kind of some interest and when you're creating an ad you know kind of what you can create and stuff like that so um, obviously in the future you can go into niches you aren't as familiar with um, because you'll probably know a lot more about CPA then and stuff like that but um, this is just what I did and I did sweepstakes um, just because I saw a good offer in there that I wanted to test um, so the next thing I did was I created a survey type landing page on ClickFunnels. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of what this is. I actually got this uh, template from Colin Dice, or however you say his last name. Um, it's really good, it's been converting really well, um, and then you just uh, edit it to your offer, right? So um, it, basically, it's a two question quiz, um, just so you're not directly sending them to the offer because your Facebook ad account could get banned for doing so and probably would get banned for doing so. So you, it's just kind of a bridge page. Um, it's gonna ask them two questions. Um, they're not they don't really mean anything it just kind of gets the potential person kind of engaged with what they're doing and stuff like that so that's the reason behind that and this is what it actually looks like when I'm uh, you know running it to when they swipe up on my ad that's what they're gonna see okay and then once they fill out the two question it redirects them to the actual offer so as I said before I don't know if I said it actually I'm running Instagram story ads uh, to test and all of this stuff I'm gonna be talking about is actually stuff I learned from Colin Dice or I'm sorry if I'm saying your last name wrong, but I actually just saw all of this on his YouTube and then I went and implemented it. So I just did exactly what he said um, and it's working out really great. So I'm running Instagram story ads to test. I'm probably going to go into uh, the Facebook and Instagram feeds now. Now that I know story is profitable, I'm going to I'm going to have a better chance of feed and uh, the feeds being profitable, right? Because stories, you can get cheaper clicks. Um, but now that I know I can get really cheap clicks with story and it converts, um, then I can kind of hop over to feed and make even more money because there are more people on the feed than just on Instagram story. So my actual testing strategy I'm doing, um, let me just reveal it all and let me go through this. Um, and I'm going to show you how I created the ad and everything like that. So basically what I'm doing is I created five different image ads. Five, yes, you're going to have to put in a little bit of work. Create five different image ads. Um, and I actually did this on Canva and I just did the dimensions this is like um, this is something completely unrelated but um, I just want to show you guys the dimensions just so you know um, what to put when you come into Canva so this one looks like 750 by 1334 uh, for some reason that doesn't seem right so I'm gonna see another one 
Um, let's see if I have another story swipe up. Okay, this one is... I, I believe, yeah. Okay, so let's see what the file size. Okay, so it's the same. So the the file size you need to do or whatever is 750 by 1334, and that's going to be the optimized size for Instagram Stories. Okay, so that's basically where I created my ads. I created five different image ads. Basically, just said like a sentence about the offer and then said swipe up. Um, okay, so you create five image ads, um, and then later on you can see which ones you're doing well, which ones are, and you can cut the ones that aren't. We're gonna get into that. And then I did three ad sets, and these are interest based ad sets, right? So for the offer I did, um, there was like one direct interest that I just put out, and then I just looked at the similar interests and stuff that I already known because I was familiar with the niche, right? So that's why I recommend it. But if you're doing like a makeup offer, you could literally just do like makeup, um, whatever a makeup company name is, and then maybe a makeup magazine. Those could be your three different ad sets, and then each ad set would have the five different image ads, right? Um, so that's how you're gonna be able to test and see which images are doing well, which interests do well, and stuff like that. So the, the way you wanna find out how much to spend per day at the start, um, and this is really good if you're on a low budget, is take the CPA you're gonna get, so whenever somebody puts in an email, how much money you're gonna get, and multiply that by three to find your daily budget. So if it was $2, your daily budget would be $6. If it was $3, your daily budget would be $9, right? Um, and this is just the way Colin taught, so this is what I'm going with, and it's been working. So you want to let the ads run for three days, and you don't want to touch them at all. Um, and this was something I was like, uh, kind of iffy on. I was like, uh, does it actually matter? But it, it works, right? Because the first day I ran my ad, I think I had like two or three hundred percent ROI. Um, the next day it broke even, and then the day after that it was like five or six hundred percent ROI, and it's been profitable every single day after that, right? So let it run for three days. If there's a day in there where it's not profitable, just keep it. Don't touch it. Don't get worried. Don't cut it off let it run um, and see if it can turn it into profitable so after three days so 72 hours if it's profitable scale it right create a different you can like duplicate increase the budget um, or you could just create a bunch more ad sets and test more interest um, there's a couple different ways to scale but what I did was I just went ahead and increased the budget to I went from like I'm not gonna say how much my daily budget was because some of you might be able to see what kind of offer was but let's just say it was two dollars so let's say that my daily budget was $6, and then I bumped it up to $80 a day. Um, I do have a bigger budget for that. So those of you that might not have a budget like that to spend, um, just increase it by a little bit. And then uh, Max Bounty, once they pay you, you can start increasing it more and more, right? So um, don't worry if you don't have a ton of cash flow. You're just going to have to slowly scale um, until you get that money into your account, and then you can reinvest it. And so, yeah, so if it's not profitable, you cut the ad set um, and you can either try a different offer or what I would recommend you do is test more interest, right? So if you tested, um, if you're doing a makeup one and you tested makeup and it didn't work, test a different interest, test women's beauty, right? And see if that works, right? You just want to test, test, test. And that's how you're going to be successful with CPA marketing. So um, just to prove this to you guys again, I actually just want to see if I made any more money. There we go. Made I don't even know how much, like five bucks. Um, so there we, five bucks live, crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, CPA is really cool. I'm really enjoying it. It's very passive, right? I set up these ads and I basically, for the past 10 days, I've just sat back. I check the ads like once or twice per day, like in the morning at night, just make sure um, nothing's wrong with them. There's no errors or anything like that. Um, and they basically run themselves. So once you get a profitable campaign, it is very, very passive, right? Like the amount of work I'm putting into this actual CPA business is probably five five minutes per day, right? Up front, you might have to do a couple hours to get the campaign set up. You're gonna have to test a couple things. But once it's profitable, this is a really, really um, cool and fun business model to, to be doing. So I hope you guys did find this valuable. If you guys need to like go back through the video and take screenshots, um, literally just follow step by step exactly what I said. Um, you can check out Colin Dice's channel too, but his strategy that he uses is literally exactly what I said in this video. So literally just follow the strategy step by step. Don't stray away from it. I had to tell myself going in, I was like, you're, you're going to have an ego and think you're smarter. Just stick with what they're telling you because they've had success. So just, just believe in me that this stuff works. Um, and so yeah, so if you guys have any questions or anything, be sure to comment them down below. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, subscribe to this channel and like this video if you guys did good value. Um, and I will see you guys with another video probably sometime this week. Um, so I'll see you guys then.